it is Tuesday and I am running late and I am off to the gym. I'm actually meeting Danielle at Orange Theory, so I gotta get going. So I am back from Orange Theory um, and had a really, really great workout. I'm looking for Bubba's so he can go outside. Bubby outside. Let's go. Let's go outside. Good morning. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Good morning. Let's go outside, go pee. Let's go outside. I edited the vlog and while I was uploading it, something about the storage came up on my computer and I was like, oh, I'll just fix it. And I deleted everything on my computer and lost um, everything that I had edited at that point. So I have to re-edit it because I still have all the footage on my SD card. So I'm gonna re-edit that vlog today and get that up this morning after I get cleaned up and eat a little breakfast. Bubba. You'll see him. There he is. Do you want a cookie? Do you want a cookie? I'd run for a cookie too. The Roomba's running too. If we love our Roomba, you'll see him running right there. He's sweeping the floors for us. The new couch has not come yet. Uh, we are now 12 weeks in to waiting for our new couch, um, which I'm fine with. Like we custom designed like the wood, like frame, the legs, the exact layout. So like it's exactly made for the space, but I'm so ready to get it. And I think we're actually going to get it the weekend after we come back from vacation. So just trying to make it work. All right, I'm going to make my breakfast. I'll tell you what it is after I make it. Well, actually I'll just tell you now. Um, I'm just going to do a vegan English muffin toasted with a little earth balance butter. And then I have like these vegan sausage patties. Someone asked what is the most recent thing I bought on QVC? Everyone knows I'm a 60 year old woman and I love QVC. Um, the most recent thing I bought is the Keurig Elite. I really like it because it brews ice. You can depend, um, you can determine how strong you want the coffee. Comes in multiple sizes. I also love the Nespresso for like the weekend, but I find during the week I do a lot of Keurig. So yeah, that's my recent QVC purchase and I really like it. My recipe for my iced coffee is super simple. I do like a French vanilla maple coffee using the soy, the so delicious coconut creamer um, in French vanilla and a splash of maple syrup. And then I also always add a little dash of vanilla extract. So I'm gonna make that. And then my breakfast is nothing fancy. It is just an English muffin, um, a vegan English muffin and a corn, that's the brand name. It's just basically like a soy and veggie sausage patty. All right, let me get my coffee going and then chill out for a minute. And then start editing the vlog I've already edited all over again. Uh, so day one is re-edited and it is uploading now. Um, also, I just got through some Instagram from last night and a lot of you have been commenting on like how much thinner my face looks and everything. Yes, I have lost about 36-ish pounds. Um, I'm feeling really good. <laughs> my arms are really sore from today's workout. Um, but yeah, I'm feeling really good. Um, and yeah, it's just working out and eating healthy. There's no secret sauce. Like, that's all it is. Eat less, move more, um, and make healthier eating choices in the meantime. Um, but yeah, thank you for noticing. It feels good uh, for hard work to be recognized, so thank you. A um, Couple more pounds to go, though. But yeah, day one is uploading, and I will have it to you guys soon, which I'm super excited about. Um, day one of the vlog is live, and it's literally lunchtime now. I started editing at like 9.40, and it's now a little afternoon. Um, I just got it uploaded and everything. It's doing something weird at the end, but I don't even care. You can still see the whole vlog, and that's what's important. I am going to go ahead and make my lunch. I'm starting with a tortilla, and I'm actually just gonna throw this on the stove. 
I love to heat my tortillas up this way. So, actually going to use some leftovers from dinner last night, which I raved about, which was that curried chickpea salad. It was unreal. I have my tortilla down. I'm so excited about this. Um, so I'm just gonna lay some greens down. Now, the way I did this is I don't like veganese, so I just substituted with hummus, lemon juice, and curry powder. And then I have chickpeas, halved grapes, green apple, and celery in here with some scallion. And it basically makes like a chicken salad with chickpeas. Okay. Now we're going to attempt Attempt to roll this up. All right. I grabbed a really big plate for this, but this is all I'm gonna have. I might have like a side salad if I need something else, but right now I'm just gonna enjoy this. It's so good. All right, just got an Amazon box. I think this should have sunglasses. I said sunglasses is like an enormous box. I actually don't know what's all in here. Let me fold this knife up before I like cut my face off. The first are, these are so silly, but I love them, and I've bought a couple pairs of them now. They are like these, like, harem-y pants, and I'm getting them for vacation because they're so light and so comfortable, and I love them. Another thing that I picked up, I totally wanted, like, a velour sweatshirt for on the plane. I love this color. And then lastly, on Amazon, and I almost ordered them from the Key website, but I couldn't find the same ones. Um, I ordered a pair of Key Australia sunglasses. I really like Key sunglasses. I've had a couple pairs of them now, um, but I really wanted a pair of brown sunglasses for vacation. I have lots of black sunglasses, um, but not many pairs of brown. So I found these. And I decided to pick them up as well. Love them already. So I got these. Oh goodness, I love them. I love them. These are gonna be my vacation sunglasses. They are so light and comfortable and they stay on really well. I should answer some of the Q&A questions. So I have them all saved on my phone. So let me answer a couple of them. Who are your go-to decorators? Someone also asked like, who are my favorite designers? Um, I love Jeremiah Brent. I love Emily Henderson. I love Genevieve Gorder. I would say those three are like my biggest influencers because I feel like our styles really match up. Emily Henderson is unbelievable. Follow her on Instagram because she's incredible. What are you currently reading? I am currently reading The Book of Essie. It is about a girl who is part of an evangelical family and she becomes pregnant, and this family is actually on a reality show and like extremely famous, how fitting for the times we live in. And it's like all about the cover up of her pregnancy. It is such a quick read, but it's really good. It's called The Book of Essie. I also just finished uh, The President is Missing by Bill Clinton and James Patterson. If you like a political thriller, I highly recommend it. It was also very good. When will you be doing another travel vlog? Steven and I leave for Spain this coming week. I am going to vlog every day, but I'm not going to upload every day. I wanna be able to enjoy the trip, so I will edit and upload that vlog when we get back home. For Pride Month, what was your coming out story? I actually told my parents on Easter Sunday. It's like the one time I had them alone that I could talk to them. They were super supportive and super amazing. Um, I told my sister like a couple weeks earlier than that, but uh, yeah. My family knew, they were super supportive. My grandmother was amazing. Like, there's really no great story. I don't have anything. I told them, 
they were fantastic. What are your favorite home decor finds or can't live with pieces? Um, that's from Peony Knits, who in several vlogs knitted me like the most beautiful thing that I have on a shelf. If I can find that vlog, I will link it down below as well. Um, you should follow her on Instagram. It's Peony Knits. She makes some amazing products. But my like favorite home decor items, I would say plants. Now that I've integrated so many plants in the house, I couldn't live without them. Uh, my bookcase with the ladder, for those who have seen several vlogs, that is like a can't live without piece. Um, and the little green stool in my bedroom that was my grandmother's. It's a home decor piece that I can never get rid of. How often do you go to Orange Theory Fitness? I've already answered this in today's vlog or yesterday's vlog. Now they're blurring together because I just edited the other one. Where do you go for shopping for your decor? My basement. <laughs> um, I like West Elm. I like Our House, A-R-H-A-U-S. I like Home Goods. I love Target. I also go to Goodwill for like all my brass pieces and candlesticks and vases and bowls. I always go there. Um, I just, wherever I find anything. I have like no particular places, but I would say those are the ones I go to the most. All time favorite candle, Diptyque Faux de Bois or SJP's candle, which I actually think she has stopped making now, but it's one of my favorite candles. Sarah Jessica Parker, the SJP candle. How do you and Steven maintain a great relationship? Uh, we are both homebodies, so we're home a lot, and we talk, and, um, the instant one of us feels off, the other one calls the other one out very quickly, so, like, if he's off, like, I'm like, nope, you, like, you're gonna tell me, like, what's going on, so I'd say, like, not letting each other off the hook and holding each other really accountable. Um, I would say he is extremely honest with me and, like, a reality check at all times, which when someone's that consistent, it makes it really easy. I don't know, the relationship is just easy. I feel like if a relationship feels like work, it's probably not the right relationship. So that's hard to answer because it's just so easy. Intimidated by starting Orange Theory, how did you start? Don't be intimidated because the workout is very much tailored for every fitness level, every age, and you kind of dictate how hard you're going to make it. And they'll always give you like, alternative moves if something doesn't feel right for your body so just go it's so much fun i love it there I actually just celebrated a year not uh, five weeks ago how do you find time to take care of you when work pulls you in all directions well i'm still always struggling to find balance i feel like i've gotten a lot better at it lately um, I just make sure it's in my schedule and if i say i'm going to the gym at 5 30 and it's 5 15 like I'm gonna get up and leave and go. And remembering that by giving that time to myself, I'm actually gonna be better at my job. Um, so just make it a priority, but I have to schedule it. That's what I also love about Orange Theory is because you schedule all your classes and I usually schedule two weeks in advance. So it's like setting my schedule and I kind of unwaver from it. Favorite not super pricey wine is actually off of QVC. It's the Valerie Bertinelli wine. It's super cheap. We got like 12 bottles for 120 bucks. So it's like 10 bucks a bottle. It was really good. Her rosé is really good. I'll take one more and then save the rest for later this week. Any tips for decorating a fireplace mantle? Kim, I like to keep it super simple. Wait, let me see if I can show you from here. I like to keep my mantle super simple, so I just have that deer head from our house above it, candlesticks from Goodwill, and absolutely nothing else on it. I did add this Genevieve Gorder wallpaper that looks like scalloped metal, and it adds just another like visual detail to it, plus it looks really good with the marble and silver tile. So I have some, I added some smoked paprika as well to this. And I wanna share a tip. So to buy garam masala or curry powder, for a jar of it, you would pay seven to eight dollars. But if you go to your grocery store and find where they have them bagged, this was three dollars. So you pay so much more for the glass packaging for spices, buy them in bags and then use your own jars. Uh, best tip ever, three dollars normally would cost me eight dollars to buy a jar of it. Just going to add two big spoonfuls of each of these and then throw in some vegetable stock and let that cook 
down. While I am cooking dinner, I thought I'd share with you all a cookbook that I picked up about two weeks ago that I absolutely love. It's called Platter and Boards, Beautiful Casual Spreads for Every Occasion. And this is great for entertaining and it gives you a platter and a board that you can put together for every single occasion. I love a beautifully like photographed cookbook and let me tell you, it's really not a cookbook. Well, I guess it is because there's recipes in here for dips and sauces and stuff. But it is so beautifully shot. But literally, there is a platter for everything. So there is mornings, afternoons, evenings for holidays and date nights and grilling out and dinner parties, a Halloween board. Then there are any time boards. There's just so many beautiful things. So here is like brunch for a crowd. Ugh, that's just stunning. This one's called Wonderlust, so it's like a bunch of like different things through travels. There's one for Father's Day and Winter Solstice. Like there is just something here for everyone. Um, park picnics, fall harvest. It's just, it's just a really great book. It's, if you're looking for something really interesting and to give you ideas that you never would have thought of, this is just a great one. Here's like a s'mores board. Like I cannot wait for our next fire because I'm totally doing the s'mores board. Then they have ones for black tie events. They're just, it's just a great book. Um, I highly recommend it. It's also just so beautiful. I keep it out on my counter. But I uh, wanted to share this all with you because it's something that I'm really, really loving. All right, so I have this going with some vegetable stock garam masala. I'll add coconut milk at the end. I also added a splash of soy sauce and a little bit of honey. Um, and I'm just going to let that simmer. That dinner comes together so ridiculously quick. And then I'm just going to grab frozen rice that I have in the freezer and cook it in the microwave. So that is the plan for dinner. Bubba's, I don't know if you can see him laying in the dark. Bubby. Are you waiting for daddy? Are you waiting for daddy? Are you? How is you? How is you? Hi. Hi. I love bugs. I love bugs. Who's the best doggy? Who's the best doggy in the world? Oh, I love you so much. I think I'm gonna read a little bit more of that book that I was telling you about, the book of Essie see if I can finish it up tonight. So the curry is made and Steven picked up some naan on his way home. How's the curry? Very good. It's one of your best curries. Um, what, um, did you use the curry that was in the bag in the pantry? Yeah, that big bag I bought? Yeah. Mm. Steven took Bubba's for a nightly walk and my legs are so sore from running and working out that I've decided I'm going to take a bath. So, that's what's going to happen. I just did some self tanning after my bath. And I've been in the bathtub for like ever. It's like nine o'clock. Um, but I did some self tanning. I did some research around self tanning and Everywhere I researched, this was like in the top three. Tan Physics True Color Sunless Tanner. I also used a um, San Tropez mitt. And then right before my bath, I used my Aromatherapy Associates Dry Brush. So I dry brushed and then exfoliated also in the tub. What I like about this one in particular is it doesn't smell, it went on really citrusy and it's a gradual tanner. So you keep applying it until you find like how deep you want it to be. So we'll see how it goes. I'm not gonna be doing like any skincare tonight simply because I put the self tanner on my face as well, which could be a disaster. I could wake up looking like an Oompa Loompa. All right, let's head downstairs and see what everyone else is up to. What's going on?
I just I just got this email and I see pictures of people I graduated from high school with. Hi, Bobby. Mm. Oh, some of you asked what this was. It is a lantern um, with like an Edison bulb in it that's completely solar powered. I don't even know who these people are. I mean, some of them I know, but they're unrecognizable. Well, you're all old now. Do you have enough citronella candles around you? I do. Also, this is lemon balm, which has completely taken off, but it's supposed to help repel bugs as well. It didn't repel him though. It is about 9.30, which means it is time to head off to bed. I think Steven is taking out the garbage. Is it time for CPs? Yeah. You think it's time for CPs? I am uh, going to the gym at like 6, so I need to get to bed. So I will sign off this vlog like I sign off all of them. Take care of yourself, take care of others, and be kind. Kindness is free. Give it to everyone. Until next time. Bye-bye. Right.